a 60-year-old man with pedunculated polyp 4 cm in sigmoid colon. Colonoscopic examination showed no clear sign of submucosal invasion. We decided to remove this polyp with endoscope. Since the stalk of the polyp was thick, big vessels inside was anticipated, direct snarling could be risky for bleeding and incomplete resection, and there was no space for endoloop. The advantage of scissor type knife is that once you catch the submucosal layer with a knife, coagulation following cutting in one session is possible, by which you can avoid bleeding. Therefore, we chose scissor type knife called SB Junior for this case. Head of the polyp showed tubular villus pattern, stalk was thick, broad, and short, and a part of its head was grown to the stalk. We used attachment for better tip control. For injection, glycerol mixed with endocomine was used. Starting a mucosal cut after injection with having enough margin from the head of the plebe. For cutting, grasping the mucus and using endocut without soft quark, indicating a system to rotate the forceps to desired direction. The setting of the electrical generator was endocut I effect 2 and soft coagulation 50 watts effect 5. When recognizing the rather thick vessel, using soft quag longer before cut. Adding injection when submucosa is not lifted enough. To avoid perforation, we maximize the attention to obtain a good and long-lasting elevation of submucosa layer by injecting a lot of the gristle. Starting submucosal dissection before cutting all circumferential, otherwise we lose the traction from the mucus. For thick vessel, precise grasping and certain soft quark could avoid bleeding. Using the lower side of attachment effectively to fix the tip of the scope for better recognition of submucosa. Keep dissecting very carefully to avoid touching the muscle layer. The advantage of scissor type knife compared to needle type knife is that we can perform pre-coagulation without endoscopic movement during resection, which also makes ESD itself easier. This advantage seems more increased when it's used with floppy and swaying situation as in this case. The thick vessel was found inside the submucosal layer, treating with a soft quark following it with end cut. Finishing ESD procedure and we put clips.
procedure was done in 45 minutes without adverse events. M block and R0 resection was achieved. No recurrence, no residual polyp at follow up after six months. For pedunculated polyps with short and thick stalk, a speed junior knife could be a good alternative.